Hey friends, we're doing something new today. New for me anyways. I have never been good at meal prepping. I'm definitely guilty of like the last second being like, okay, what are we gonna have for dinner? And then like rooting through my cabinet, through the fridge, trying to figure out what I can throw together very quickly. I have 12 different meals that I have found online. All of them are freezer to crock pot meals. So you just dump all the ingredients in a bag. They don't have to be pre-cooked, which is huge. That's one of the biggest reasons why I don't really like meal prep. Usually you're having to like cook things in advance and then freeze them. But this, you're putting all the ingredients in and then cooking them after, which I think is really cool. What I've done for prep, I've printed out all of my recipes that I found, which I'll link all of these in the video description so you can check these out. And then I take my gallon size freezer bags and I wrote out the name of the recipe and then the instructions for what you need to do with the bag. The other thing that I've done too is I've put use by dates on here as well. You're supposed to use these within 60 days of making them. Let's get started. So here are my meals. We've got a chicken pot pie, freezer Italian herb roasted chicken and potatoes, mozzarella stuffed turkey pesto meatballs, chicken noodle soup, chicken tacos, chicken fajitas, turkey black bean chili, chicken teriyaki, um, chicken tater tot casserole, sausage and peppers, oh, Italian sausage and peppers, cheese tortellini and ground beef, and spicy garlic lime chicken. I've already done all of the shopping for this. I did forget two things. I needed two other bell peppers, so I'll have to go run and grab those from a grocery store, which means just one of these isn't going to be able to be finished until I do that. But I did get everything else. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I think I got everything else. And it costs $120, and this is for 12 meals. So you're looking at $10 a meal, that's like not bad. And definitely less expensive than eating out. First up is chicken tacos. All right, so since I'm doubling this, two pounds of chicken. And then two cups of chicken broth. Okay, we're already done with one. That is chicken tacos, done. So I'm gonna go uh, throw this in the freezer. This is the slow cooker turkey black bean chili. So we're doing two cans of rinsed and drained black beans. One and two thirds cups of frozen corn, some carrot, pound of ground turkey, yuck. Minced garlic, tomato sauce, Petite diced tomatoes, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of cumin, and a teaspoon and a half of oregano. That's it. This is our turkey black bean chili. So our next recipe is spicy garlic lime freezer chicken. Pound and a half of chicken here. A third of a cup of fresh lime juice. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Taking two jalapenos. So after our pathetic lime juice jalapeno offering to the bag, one fourth cup of olive oil. It says to use about four to six cloves, so I'm gonna put a pretty good amount of garlic in there. And then we're doing a half a teaspoon of salt, salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. There you go. There is meal number three, spicy garlic lime chicken. Okay, now we are working on the chicken noodle soup. So I've prepped the vegetables. It's about a cup of celery, one yellow onion, smaller yellow onion, half a pound of carrots. So that's what all this is. And then you're also doing a pound of chicken. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of dried oregano and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Add it to the crock pot with eight cups of chicken broth, and then you're gonna cook it low on, for, on low in the crock pot for six to eight hours, and then you add your egg noodles and cook for another half an hour, and there you are, chicken noodle soup. All right, now we are working on easy chicken pot pie, one small yellow onion, three, um, smaller sized potatoes and then I'm going to dump the remainder of my frozen corn from the other recipe 
and a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, one cup of chicken broth, a fourth cup of flour, one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper, a fourth teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and a half teaspoon of celery seed. And then you do two pounds of chicken, and you're supposed to chop them into bite-sized pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeze the heavy whipping cream because that's not something I usually have on hand. So I'm gonna freeze it and put it with this in the freezer. Okay, so there's my heavy whipping cream. And this completes our chicken pot pie recipe. Next one is chicken tater tot casserole, 32 ounce bag of frozen tater tots, an eight ounce bag of cheddar cheese, three fourths cup of milk, three ounces of bacon bits, a fourth a teaspoon of salt and a fourth teaspoon of pepper. And then you do one pound of chicken cut into bite-sized pieces, which I already did. And there is our chicken tater tot casserole, which um, will just go into the crock pot for four to six hours and then be done. Alrighty, we're really moving along here. So cheesy tortellini with ground beef. We're doing a pound of lean ground beef. We're doing one diced yellow onion, about two cloves of garlic minced, a can of crushed tomatoes, a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, cheese tortellini. Oops, I wasn't supposed to add the tortellini. That's why you're supposed to read um, the recipe all the way through before you, uh, before you just go for it. It makes sense though, because the tortellini is definitely not gonna be able to cook for eight hours. <laughs> It'll totally be fine. <laughs> Okay, so here's the meat mixture. I'm gonna deal with this really quickly. <laughs> okay, I washed it all out, made sure there wasn't any like meat or anything stuck to it. Um, and <laughs> hopefully it's okay. Alrighty, I just did a ton of prep for this one. It's um, Italian herb roasted chicken and potatoes. Looks super good. Tablespoon and a half of olive oil, two teaspoons of dried Italian herbs, minced garlic, salt, pepper, a pound and a half of red potatoes, a pound of carrots, and a yellow onion. And then I'm going to toss them um, in this oil mixture, except for I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with this bowl. This recipe you actually use a nine by 13 disposable pan. Um, I've coated this one in a nonstick spray. Two pounds of legs or thighs. I'm just doing the best that I can. Ah, a pretty okay covering. Now that this is all in this pan together, I'm just gonna wrap it really well with foil. Here we go. This is the last one I'm gonna be able to work on because I need to run to the store and grab a few other things. So this one is the mozzarella stuffed turkey pesto meatballs. Prep your pan by just dumping your diced tomatoes into it. This has my pound of turkey, a half a cup of the Italian breadcrumbs, one egg, and then we're gonna dump a half cup of pesto, a fourth a cup of Parmesan. It should make 18 meatballs. So I need to cut this ball into 18 pieces. And it says top with shredded mozzarella. Ah! Here is our dish here. I just made 10 meals in two hours. 10. Okay, that was stupid easy. I'm so excited. And I think all of those recipes, like they smelled really good. So I'm assuming they're gonna taste really good too. I'm stoked about it, but. My kitchen is trashed. I would much rather spend three hours making a ton of meals than spend hours every, every day or an hour, I guess, each day making a meal. So I don't know, I feel like this is a really good solution for my family and our needs. 
Let me know if you have any other ideas for really quick freezer meals like this, something that I can throw in the crock pot. I would love to have more recipes like this because I feel like this will definitely be a game changer for me. Probably help us be a lot healthier because we're gonna be eating home cooked meals instead of McDonald's last minute dollar menu. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday. Like I said, I will post all of the links in the video description. Go ahead and go print everything out, go crazy, make your own meals and save yourself buttloads of time. Spencer, do you wanna come say bye? Yes. Come here. Please. Yes, please. <laughs> say bye. bye. Say yummy food. Yummy food. Good job. <laughs>